We're heading for the mountains. Beautiful sunrise today. Hey, this, oh, it's 640. And the sun is coming up over here in the east. And we're heading north towards Mammoth. Crawley and it is windy. Windy air. A little bit of rain now and then, but pretty cool. We're at Mammoth Lakes and it is snowing. Here we are, we're heading into the storm. Flurries are coming down here, so up in the Mammoth Lakes. We were thinking about doing some fishing, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Oh. It's coming down. Christmas. It's Christmas now. <laughs> here we are at the end of the road. We're at Lake Mamie. And obviously some fresh snow coming down. This isn't exactly the weather we were expecting, but it's the weather we got. And here we are. It's coming down. We got some snow last night. <clears throat> First winter storm, I guess. Well, we made it out here to Jackson Meadow Reservoir. This is above Lake Tahoe and uh, <clears throat> it's kind of out here a ways. It's kind of in the boonies a little bit, but really nice. So we're going to put the canoe in the water and have a look around. We got a little change in the weather today. Finally, no more snow, blue skies and calm, no wind. So we're going to go out on the lake. Okay. Oh, I got one of these rainbows on here. <clears throat> it took it long enough, but it's like a pretty decent fish. Very beautiful. Let me get a closer look at it here. Here we go. A decent rainbow. Kind of looks like a steelhead. Really pretty. Nice and bright. Tired, huh? Oh, there he goes.
this is Milton Lake, which is right below Jackson Meadow. And we just came up here to explore. It's got a little dam here and a little uh, outlet. Very pretty, nice spot. This is the outlet of Jackson Meadows Lake Reservoir. It's like an instant river. Still pretty early in the morning. We're heading towards Redding. So we're just uh, in the process of making some breakfast. Got the eggs, got the cheese, onions, mushrooms. Got to start the day out right, right? <clears throat> Just about ready. Entra, amor. Ya está listo, amor. Muy bien. ¿Qué es esto? We are driving down, down the valley, down into Red Bluff. And uh, we stopped at this lookout and it's a valley, a canyon. Kind of reminds us of the one in Mexico. Very pretty. And then down here, I think there's probably a river running down there. A beautiful river that's full of trout, probably. It's about seven o'clock in the morning now, and we're at the Anderson River Park on the Sacramento River in the city of Reading. And uh, really nice, very calm this morning, very quiet. A little bit of wind, but it's really beautiful. And they preserved all this natural habitat here along the river. Pretty big area. Thank you. 
never seen this flower before. Really pretty. I don't know what what it is, but it's interesting. That is a good sized lake. Good, beautiful lake. Whiskey Town. Whiskey Town Lake. Yeah, kind of a funny name, but it looks beautiful. Like owned by the company, by the by the, by the, by the McLeod Lumber Company or whoever yeah. I don't know who, what yeah. they were called. But yeah. Now it's a hotel. Yeah. Was it back hotel. then? Uh, yes. You could, yes. Yeah. This so is a classic off building. The train. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this one. This is a classic building. So this is the old. This is the lumber mill that has now been closed down. Is all the machinery still inside? I mean, is it all? Most of it's gone. There's another. There's one of the old cabooses from the Cloud Railroad. Yeah. So the, the, oh, I see the tracks right here, leaving right out of the mill. Yeah, I guess so. So this was built specifically, the railway was, was built specifically just for the for the mill. For the mill, yeah. Yeah, the only reason it came in here was for the mill, just to get the lumber out of here. Yep. Okay. And the, from here, it was shipped down to either Sacramento, San Francisco, or it went back to Susanville and Reno. So this is where they'd bring the cars in, yeah. the trains. To and they would load the them up. And, wow, just yeah. straight in. Like the tracks go right into the mill. So well, that's smart. Either down to the trains. <laughs> workers living in all those houses. And just the mill was the sole employer. Old railroad car, but are those the ones? But they didn't lump load those with lumber. What are the ones that they load with lumber look like? Uh, just flatbed. Like a big container. Oh, flatbed. Yes. Okay. You could basically go from here to Mount Shasta uh -huh. and have dinner on the train. You know, it was they called it a dinner train. From here to Mount Shasta. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, it was about an hour, think? about a two hour loop to go from here to Mount Shasta. They serve you dinner and cocktails no and stuff. This is more of the, the mill, I guess. Is this part of the mill too? Yeah. I mean, yeah. This is all part of the mill. What is Oh, crane. Kind of sad, you know. I mean, end of an era, I guess. Yeah. This is some of the McLeod Railroad cars from back in the day when the mill was running, and the whole city supported was supported by the mill. Everybody worked for the mill, either as a lumberjack or in the mill itself. Well, there's a vintage rail car. What is that? This is the inside of the maintenance building. So this is after the mill shut down. Everybody just walked away. I guess they just walked away and left everything in place here. You've got all this park area, and then over here, and you look. Look in this side, we've got like all these parts, hoses for the trains and cars and racks full of parts, all still intact. I mean, it must be thousands of dollars worth of, of parts in here that have no use now because the trains are obsolete. The trains are obsolete and this is closed down. I mean, all these, all these, all these parts could be recycled for metal by someone, I guess. At the old refrigerator there, where they kept all their drinks, I guess. But uh, yeah, they. I guess the mill when it shut down, it end of an era. So here, in the main, look at the size of this this thing. Wow, it's huge. Anyway, so over here is a full-blown engine from the McLeod Railway that is probably still in running condition. I mean, it looks, it looks perfect. It just parked in there. Maybe that's what they were working on when this thing closed down, I don't know. There is the old rail car. There's a couple of them over there. Obsolete. Here's another. That's obviously for holding fuel or something, but it's on a track. It's on the track that goes out. I guess we're actually going to go inside of the mill. It's tall. And uh, I can't believe it's not like secured somehow. Now look at all this. Man, when they, <laughs> when they stop working, they just stop working. <laughs> they just, it's, I can't believe uh, the quantity of steel in here that is recyclable. I mean, you could probably make a thousand cars with all this stuff. Well, just so you know. Look at that. I'm sure we're not supposed to be in here. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. These batteries. And there is the car. There is the car. from the McLeod Railway. There's actually two cars in here, two. They're both engines, right? That's another engine down here. Hola, Maud. This is the McLeod Railway, which was built specifically just for this mill to haul the lumber that was taken out of the forest to San Francisco and other places. But quite an operation. All the skylights in the ceiling of this place, most of them are broken. So I'm sure it gets rain and snow in here, but, and there's also another engine over here. I didn't even see this one. Look at these wheels. 
I guess, replacement wheels. I mean, man, that's a lot of steel sitting there. Pretty amazing. You can see that Jeanette is being respectful that it's private property. <laughs> She's going inside the engine. Oh my God. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go inside. Let's go up here. This is like, this is like a train museum. I'm in a train museum and it's not even a museum. It's just the, the old, what a trip. So we got the uh, conductor goes here, I guess. With all the controls to run this thing. It's a bit dark in here, but <clears throat> wow, absolutely amazing. Maybe there's a shovel. Yes. Anyway. Pretty interesting. Okay, so you can see, look, there's another car out here. That's a cute little one. Maybe if you stored some of these out here, maybe they're gonna make you a museum eventually, I don't know. I like a museum already. There's a whole bunch of cars over there. All these wheels, axles, whatever. That is a vintage piece of railway history here in McLeod, California. The McLeod Railway. Holy cow. And this, look at these machines, these machines. Wow. I would not have wanted to work in here. I don't know what these did, but mills. I mean, they're mills, they mill something. Amazing. <clears throat> now that piece for milling, squaring or whatever. Look at the size of these mills. Man. Look at this, they got a forklift. Forklift over here is another engine. And all the workbenches and stuff here. All the parts in this. All the parts here. In 2000, the year 2000, this place shut down. But I mean, look at all these parts, parts in boxes, brand new parts. Look at Napa filters. Air filters. Look at all this. Incredible. And see this, if I, you know, I mean, this is amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Wow, no kidding. Headlight. Maybe there's another forklift. Or whatever you call this thing. What are these, the brake shoes? What are those? Brake shoes. Yeah. Wow, look at this. I just can't get over the amount of the amount of steel, like perfect. I mean, it's like if you just brought some semis in here and loaded all this stuff, make thousands of dollars on recycling steel. Reservoir. 
Mud River runs into it and it runs out of it. generating electricity and so it um there's a bird's eye view of McLeod Reservoir and it's got that glacial color to it. It's got that blue beautiful blue color. The little islands out there it's a little bit low but still full of big trout. Here we are at the lower falls of the McLeod. At the viewpoint, Two babies. You guys are cute, huh? Hi, and baby. Are you guys on? Huh? Hi. Hi, you're not scared, huh? These deers are, they're probably 20 feet away. I guess they're used to getting fed by people. I don't know. Come on, baby, come out. Come on, baby. Hey, girl. This trail goes down to the base of the Middle Falls of the McLeod River. And uh, we're gonna go down and take a look. The viewpoint at the top is really kind of far up, so you can get a good view of the of the falls. Uh, yeah, that's part of it. Inside of the falls.
this is the walkway that goes down to Bernie Falls. And it's an amazing amount of work here. Looks like it's made out of lava. The wall here. And over here you can hear the falls. You can't see it very well, but there's a little bit of it peeking through. Very impressive waterfall. Now we have got a beautiful, gorgeous, giant pool below it. Beautiful. Over the bridge. Over the Pitt River. Which is beautiful trout stream but very difficult to fish because it's full of slippery boulders and it's very hard to wade looks like it's running kind of fast too but it's crystal clear and it's 48 degrees year round so it's pretty amazing yeah it's pretty fast see the beautiful fall colors that are coming out on these maple. Down to the lake. Looking for a handout. <laughs> hey, dude. Come over here. There is the lake. We're going up to the river. Oh, I don't know if there's a river mouth here. We're going to check out the. Oh, mira, pato. Hay unos patos en la playa, ma. Viene one. <clears throat> it is now 5:20. We are paddle trolling on Lake Siskiyou in Mount Shasta, and the fish are starting to bite. Maybe I hope. Muy bien, amor. We are heading down to Redding today. This is the sunrise with Mount Rainier, which is now shrouded in clouds. First time I've seen any clouds around it since we've been here.
We are heading down to Redding and I'm going to get airbags put on my truck so that it doesn't sag in the back. Uh, level out the ride a little bit. So our appointment down there is at 8 o'clock. This is the place you want to come to. In Redding, the RV specialists here and trucks. And we're parked over here. You can see our little, our little mini Winnie compared to these other. I just can't get over these trailers. Anyway, so we're just killing time waiting for our install. So we're getting the install on the airbags here in Redding. There we go. That's the Air Lift 5000. So hopefully that's going to make a big difference in towing. And this place is a huge place that does <clears throat> works on RVs and everything else. So they say they're pretty qualified. now we're on our way to um, Arcata and we're gonna go to the Redwoods there. We are on the Trinity Highway the 299 from Reading and we're heading to Eureka and uh, we have been passing all these places that have Bigfoot it's like they this town is called Bigfoot, I'm not sure, but this mural on here is like this whole building goes all the way down. And it basically depicts the Bigfoot working side by side with the indigenous people doing agriculture. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of funny. It's like, so apparently Bigfoot is uh, very well entrenched here in the local lore of the, the community. I guess they, it's a pretty nice mural. Anyway, we, we are not far now from Eureka. We're only about maybe 30 miles from the coast. So we left the mountains and now we're heading down to the coastline and we're gonna go to the redwoods there. driving weather and we're following the Trinity River all the way down 299 the Trinity Highway uh, really beautiful the airbags installed on my truck it has leveled out the, the ride it's like the back is not sagging down anymore and it's got a much better ride than it did so big improvement <laughs> This is the beginning of the Avenue of the Giants. Something like that. Anyway, up here in Humble Redwoods National Park. So we're just going through the entrance now and there's all the redwoods are here. So it's a 32 mile drive. We're gonna have a look. Okay. Donde estamos, Amar? No sé. No? The Redwoods? We're in Humble Redwood National Park in Northern California. And uh, we're just out walking at night because we're looking for animals, which are extremely rare around here, believe it or not. 
we're walking in the Avenue of the Giants. And they are the great, great Wedwoods. And uh, actually, this is a well-known habitat for Bigfoot. What is that The Yeti. We've seen a lot of towns that have murals and all kinds of things depicting the the Bigfoot. So we're hoping maybe, I've always wanted to see one. Oh. Walking through the road at night. It's a first for me too, I know. Oh. But I haven't seen any birds, not a single bird. No, no, uh, no squirrels, no chipmunks. Now yeah. we are on the 101 heading south now, and uh, still more signs of Bigfoot Yeti on top of this kind of cool looking place over here. We're gonna go take a look. So, this place is actually called the Legend of Bigfoot. If you see a guy that looks like that, then you saw a Bigfoot. And that's how big his feet is, right there. That's what it's big. Kind of cool, I mean, a lot of chachi stuff, but they also have for the uh, dinosaur fans. So even one for me, right here. Go on fishing. Really cute, cute stuff. All, I'm sure, uh, chainsaw carvings, I guess. But they got a gang of them. If you're looking for your latest tin sign, there's one for everybody here. There's the wino one, wine o'clock, beer 30. Don't stop believing. Got this guy and all of his little friends over here too. <laughs> These are pretty, pretty entertaining. Did you get dusty in here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's so much, it's so wet, it doesn't seem like <laughs> there'd be any dust, but. We have this the Sasquatch collection for the big foot fan in all of us. Peace. <laughs>
we just crossed over the Golden Gate Bridge. And now we're just looking back at it. Looking north, beautiful, amazing.